Okay, this video is going to walk you through how to cut an angle in half. As you can see here, we have two rays, and the rays are forming an angle that make, makes you out to 58 degrees. Now, if we're going to cut this and bisect it, we're going to cut it into a half angle. So I'm hoping that when I'm all done, I'll create a line that's going about half that, 58 degrees, which is 29 degrees. Let's see how we can do that. We're going to create the angle bisector by making a rhombus. With circles, the radius of a circle is going to be the same distance no matter where it comes in contact with things. So if you put your sharp tip at the vertex of the two rays, create a circle. It's going to be probably work best if you just spin your paper, but do it however you wish, and create one circle. Now, where that circle meets the two rays, there's going to be two new points. Uh, those are going to be the new centers of our next circle, two circles we're going to draw. And we're going to create this rhombus by then figuring out where they cross each other next. So watch this. You're going to draw this. Don't change the size of your compass. Uh, hopefully it goes to that intersection. And then keep going around and you'll have that circle made. And somehow mine got a little bit bigger accidentally. Hopefully it's close enough though. And then you take your other, your other place that crossed on the original part right here, this blue one right here. Put your sharp tip at the other blue point that I have here. And we're going to draw a circle from here as well. Now, if you're more precise than I am, your circles should be crossing right perfectly through all three dots, which mine kind of did, but hopefully in the end, this will still work. Now, what I hope you're also noticing is we've got three circles that are supposed to be considered all the exact same size. There are four vertices that I want you to focus on. This vertice, this vertice, and there are four of them total. In this four total dots, you're going to see a rhombus that's going to be pink here in just a moment. These segments are all made from the radii of the three different circles. So that means they're all the same size, or same length sides. Uh, these sides are supposed to be considered parallel. As you can see, they're pretty close. And then lastly, the, the fact about a rhombus. A rhombus always has the diagonals bisecting opposite angles. So if I bisect this set of two rays and from this rhombus, when I draw this line in, this should, in the end, be really close to, if not perfectly, 29 degrees. This angle will be 29 degrees, and this angle right here will be 29 degrees. We'll verify that right now. So take out your compass and just verify that you did it correctly. As I do this, you're going to notice that I've got pretty close, let's get it lined up here, 29 degrees, and you can see that works. So you're going to find out how to make a, an angle bisector by creating three circles, and the first two dots of the, of the intersection from the two rays become the centers of the two new circles you create, and then you get your rhombus. Hopefully, with the rhombus, you can bisect angles also. Good luck.